How's it going everybody? Brad Thomas here, about to give you my top 10 most anticipated movies of 2015. Gonna get this one started with a couple of honorable mentions. First up will be Ted 2. I really enjoyed the first one, Seth MacFarlane as a talking bear. What can you not like about that? A Million Ways to Die in the West did disappoint a little bit, but I'm still looking forward to Ted 2. I'm also looking forward to Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2. I not enjoyed Part 1 as much as I did Catching Fire, but I'm still looking up for this series to wrap up. Next one I'm looking forward to is the Fantastic Four, which this time is going to be a much younger cast. Also looking forward to Mission Impossible 5. Ghost Protocol is probably one of the best of the series, and I can't wait for the fifth one to come up. And how could I not be looking forward to Quentin Tarantino's follow-up to Django Unchained, The Hateful Eight. Tarantino's going back to the Western genre, and I could not be more stoked for this film to come out. And I forgot to add one thing to my list, so this actually unfortunately got bumped to my honorable mentions, but I am still looking forward to this a lot. Minions. Probably the most I laughed in the theaters was during Despicable Me 2. You know that scene when they come in as firemen and try to put a fire and stuff like that? Yeah, did not stop laughing. So coming in at number 10 is Tomorrowland. Now the teaser trailer really got me excited for this one. Just that jump cut edit in the trailer where she went from the police station into Tomorrowland. Over top of that, lay in George Clooney's voiceover and you got yourself a good looking trailer. Coming in at number 9 is the Pixar film Inside Out. Now from what I've been reading up on it and hearing about it, apparently Pixar is super stoked for this one and they think they have their best one yet, and that's saying something when it comes to Pixar films. I mean they brought to you the likes of Toy Story, Finding Nemo, Up. I mean how can you top those films? But apparently this one is the one they're most excited about, which even makes me even more looking forward to this film. Number 8 will be Mad Max Fury Road. Now this trailer blew my mind. Following watching the trailer, I actually went back to watch Mad Max 1, 2, and 3 because I had previously not seen them. So now I'm all ready to go for this fourth one and bring it on. Tom Hardy, Charlize Theron, Nicholas Holt, I'm in. Coming in at number 7 will be Bond 24, aka Spectre. With Sam Mendes coming back and again Daniel Craig as Bond, plus adding the likes of Christoph Waltz and Dave Bautista, this is looking to be a great follow up to Skyfall. Can't wait for the trailer. And now at number 6 is Silence film by Martin Scorsese. Now any film by Scorsese is one that will be on my top 10 most anticipated list. One of my favorite directors. Probably my favorite movie is The Departed. This time he's actually working with a bit of a new cast. And number 5 will be Triple Nine. This is being done by the person who directed Lawless. And Triple Nine stars a bunch of A-list talent. I probably can't even list it all, but it has the likes of Aaron Paul, Norman Reedus, Chewy Tell, Edgy uh, Casey Affleck. The list goes on. There's probably more. I can't remember it's basically a heist film about corrupt police officers. What can you not like about that? And number four is Furious 7. Now I'm interested to see how they deal with the whole Paul Walker situation, but more importantly, it is a follow-up to Fast 6 and Fast 5, which were amazing. Add in Jason Statham as a villain, I'm on board. Now for my top three, this was a tough top three. I probably scrambled these around multiple times. I've even changed in the last couple days. That is how much I am looking forward to these three films. And at number three will be this one right behind me, Avengers Age of Ultron. How can you not be excited for this one? A follow-up to the first Avengers film, kicking off on the heels of Captain America and Guardians of the Galaxy, and you add in James Spader's menacing voice as Ultron, and you add in James Spader's menacing voice as Ultron, this has the makings of a good one. I'm super excited to see how this will lead into Civil War, and I'm thinking at least someone big will die in this one. Not sure who, but someone will. Number two will be The Revenant. Not many of you may have heard of this one, but it is directed by Birdman director Alejandro Gonzalez Signorito. I may have pronounced that wrong, but uh, oh well. And this one stars Leonardo DiCaprio after being mauled by a bear, getting revenge on the people who left him to die. Yeah, I'm excited. DiCaprio is my favorite actor, so what is not to like about this one? And at number one, this one actually switched with my number two spot recently. Number one is Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens. Who would have thought that you would get a follow-up to Episode 6? Not this guy. I'm excited for this one. Bringing all the old cast, Mark Hamill, Carrie Fisher, Harrison Ford. This one is shaping up to be a good one. I'm excited for the new additions with Adam Driver, Gwendolyn Christie. Even the new people who haven't even been in a whole lot of movies kind of takes you back to what the original ones were. And John Boyega as a Stormtrooper, it's gotta be good. Well, that is my top 10 most anticipated movies of 2015. What is on your top 10 list? Any ones I miss, let me know in the comment section. Be sure to like this video and subscribe for more video reviews on movies, TV shows, and much, much more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.